what should you have for breakfast? Hi and welcome to Health Revolution 12 week program where we give you the best tips to an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. I'm Maria. And I'm Rita Catalino. Welcome. We're so excited to have you in the kitchen with us today. Eh, vi kommer prata engelska men om du är svensk, extra välkommen. I didn't understand that, yeah. but I'm sure she said something beautiful. So Rita, yeah. is breakfast the most important meal in the day? It actually is. The problem with breakfast is that people believe they need to have it at a certain time. Mm. So I know that you eat breakfast mm. before I do. I eat my breakfast or I break my fast somewhere around noon each day, mm. which is interesting and maybe weird for some of you. But the way I do um, my morning routine is with something called a fat fueled coffee. And what is a fat fueled coffee? Well, it is essentially just your regular black favorite coffee um, blended with a fat. So mm. an MCT oil, which is a medium chain triglyceride oil or a coconut oil or even a grass fed butter. Mm. And I know you guys are probably thinking butter in your coffee mm. sounds weird. But once you blend this up in the bullet, you can tell that it looks almost like a latte and it tastes like a mm, latte. It's beautiful. It's the taste. great. And the reason we do this is because coffee alone tends to raise your cortisol levels. Mm. So your fight or flight, your stress hormone goes through the roof and that coffee diet ends up wrecking havoc on your digestion, your mm. gut health. And then if you are fasting like I am, it's not the best choice. By adding in a fat like coconut oil, like I have, it ensures that you have energy, that your hormones stay even keel, that your sugar levels kind of stay even mm. keel. But this also creates really great uh, cognitive function so yeah. that you can stay focused on your day without feeling, you know, oh my goodness, I haven't had food, sugar levels everywhere. Yeah. So. This is what I like to do until I break my fast around noon or one post-workout, which I'm going to talk about later. But why yeah. don't you tell me how you start your day? Yeah, so I fast too. And it's interesting. So much research is coming around fasting. So much that people are starting to say, it's not actually only the calories you eat in a day, but when, when? you eat. Actually lowering your food window. And what is the food window? It's from the first meal to the last. So you will have how long a food window in the day? I usually have an eight hour food window mm -hmm. and that suits, that works really well for my lifestyle. I know that you do maybe a 10. I do a 10 and I have different cortisol levels than you. So if I do a longer fast than let's say 14 hours, my cortisol levels go through the roof and I mm. feel that. So I will eat after about 10 hours and you after 12 hours. Yeah. So that's an individual choice. So the question is, how do you break your fast? Yeah, well, I really like to break my fast with a protein shake. Oh, it looks great. Look at how beautiful they are. And blueberry? The, yeah. This lingonberry? Is blueberry and lingonberry, which is like a type of cranberry, which is really anti-inflammatory mm. as you uh, showed me. So the reason that I like to break my fast with a smoothie is because it's a liquid protein. You can use either vegan or whey versions of protein powder. And they're really easy on the digestion. So after having fasted for 16 hours, it's really nice to kind of work your digestion in and not just bombard it with this kind of heavy meal that it has to digest. And the other great thing is you can pack so much nutrition and nutrients into a blended yeah. drink. You know, yeah. sometimes I add spinach. So if you think about how you can make up a, a really great smoothie, the base is always some kind of protein. So is this a, a vegan protein, a, a milk-based whey protein? Then I like to add some fruit, usually in the form of a berry. Mm -hmm. So when you add berries, which is a low glycemic fruit, it doesn't spike your, your sugar level. So this is a really great way to keep your sugar and your energy even keel. Then I like to add a little bit of fat mm. via chia seeds or, or some nuts. Some nuts. Yeah, or some seeds. Mm. These are sunflower mm. seeds. Chia is here too. Chia seeds are really great. They're also great for fiber. Um, love chia seeds. Okay, so you have your protein, you have your fat, you have your fruit, and then vegetables. Never forget your vegetables. Adding in a cup of spinach, it's a really great, great way to get vegetables into your kids mm. when they don't want to eat their vegetables because you blend it in and it just becomes this really beautiful, sweet milkshake, essentially. But yeah. then you've added in all of the nutrients, which are so important. So yeah. cheers to you. Cheers to and you. And how do you break your fast? Yeah, so I will either do oh, a gonna, smoothie like this. You're going to steal it from me. Yeah, I'm going to steal it from you. So I will have 
a smoothie like this with almond milk, I will have some nuts, I will have protein powder, I will have spinach, I will have blueberries. And when my husband started doing this, the people at his office were telling him, oh, you're looking so hot, <laughs> so good. So it's the good looking smoothie. Good looking smoothie. Good looking smoothie. Yeah. What else do we have here for yeah. breaking fast? So another great way, another break. So you've got the smoothie with the com complete nutrient profile, eggs. We love eggs. Love eggs. And uh, instead of having them with bread, which has a lot of gluten uh, and can have high glycemic index, vegetables are fantastic. So here we've got some tomatoes. You could do a scrambled egg with some fried tomatoes. Love that. Yeah, love that. That's yeah. beautiful. Or with spinach, spinach. omelette. Spinach omelette. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And... I also like when I'm hungry and we are in the winter oats. Mm. So the normal way of cooking the oats would be like cooking them in water or milk and then adding even more milk and perhaps some sugar and then have some jam on top. And that's very high glycemic index. So we love the oats. We love um, their long lasting carb power, but let's fix them. So I will take half the amount of oats. And I will add some more protein powder, either in the shape of protein, or I can even add an egg. Yeah, you can add an egg. Yeah, mm. and the, the beautiful thing is yeah. when you mix a protein, whether you, you whip in a white yeah. egg white or you whip in a protein powder, is adds that additional flavor, but also texture. Yeah. And you, so you feel fuller longer. Yeah. If you just pack your body with oats and brown sugar, mm. Mm. within half an hour, you're going to be hungry yeah. because your body doesn't have that protein, which is the number one macronutrient that satiates. So it makes you feel fuller longer for a longer time yeah and then i want to add some omega-3 and they are fantastic uh lowering inflammation chia seeds is a fantastic way love chia seeds chia seeds go in this camera hello little camera chia seeds and uh, you could add other nuts you have cashew nuts could be a potential uh friend i've got some pumpkin seeds could be pumpkin seeds uh, could be sunflower seeds, any kind of nut you even, like. Even throwing berries on top yeah, gives berries it that on like, top. or exactly. you grate apple, there's so many things yeah, you can so do. Yeah, so many things you can do. And then my secret tip, but then I'm spice lady. And all spices are so interesting because they contain polyphenols. Mm. And that dopes the microbiota, helps your good bacteria. This is my cinnamon friend. Mm. So this, good. Yeah, this is cardamom. Mm. I worked a lot in India and I love cardamom and this is turmeric, which mm, I of love course turmeric. is a very, very potent anti-inflammatory. And many people find the taste very harsh, but if you combine it with the cardamom and the cinnamon, just like a half a teaspoon each it's in that porridge mix. Super. Amazing. Yeah, like a amazing. party in your mouth. Yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> a oriental uh, kind of porridge. I love yeah, that. With a bit of, uh, you know, almond milk. Maybe a bit of salt. So yes. there you have some ideas for breakfast. Yeah, so whether you're breaking your fast breakfast, remember that name, Breck Fast, yeah. you break your fast. Whether you're breaking your fast at five o'clock in the morning or 12 noon like I do, mm. you just wanna make sure that you're having foods that are great for your digestion, that are gonna give you lots of nutrients, that are gonna keep you full, keep the brain and body going throughout the morning so that you don't raid the cupboard, so that you don't go through the drive throughs so you're not grabbing the croissants and the danishes and all of those tempting yeah. foods, which are not gonna do anything for you, but make you feel sluggish. Sluggish. Right? Exactly. Exactly. And also these type of foods, because we are adding the omega-3s in the chias or in the smoothie with the berries, with the polyphenols and the fibers, with the protein, with all these different principles are going to keep your inflammation low. So that means your brain chemistry at its best. You're going to feel sharper, happier and less anxious all through the day. What who else do, do you want? Who doesn't want to feel that way? Yeah. Who, what else right. do we want? What else do we want? Have, have a great day. See you next time. Adios. Adios.